sword swallowing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this concealed weapon right here, and I am going to swallow it all the way down past my heart, past my lungs and my liver, into the pit of my digestive system. Of course, this is not for the faint of heart, a weak of stomach, no. And it's not an illusion. Every time I do this, people say, I know how you do that. That thing collapses into the handle, you know? So I'd like to get a volunteer to come up here, not to inspect my sword, because I don't want your fingerprints all over it, but I do want somebody to pull the sword out of my body after I've swallowed it. After I've swallowed it. Who wants to do it? One of you three. All three of you want to do it? You have to choose. Let her. No, you have to come up on stage. No, I didn't want a female to just raise her hands. Sometimes it's better if a male does it, you know? Sometimes it's better if a female does it. It really all depends on the chemistry between those two people. Hey! So what's your name? So you can all see what I had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Look down inside my throat. Then I'm going to come over to you. I'm going to wink at you. That's the signal, right? Then you're going to pull the sword straight out of me. You're not going to zigzag it. You're not going to twist it. And whatever you do, don't stick it back inside me, okay? So now we can trust each other. Okay. 